I'm Sally Mann, and this work is, it's a body of work that was pulled together by an extraordinary curator named John Ravenall at the Virginia Museum, who worked the theme of the body uh, throughout this, this collection. And in some cases, it's a little attenuated. There are some landscape pictures and some still lives, but in every case, there's either the body or the implication of the body or the, the spiritual residue of the body. Uh, in all these pictures, and he expands the, the concept of the body in photography just the way he pulled it all together. Many of the pictures in this show are made with um, the wet plate collodion process, which was um, one of the earliest photographic processes. But it's a um, glass-based process. In other words, you build the light-sensitive photographic surface on a sheet of glass. And the effect is completely different than any other photographic process. It's at once very specific, and yet it has a the overarching feel of antiquity to me, um, and a sort of mystery about it that belies the, the specificity. It's really quite an evocative process. Anyone in the um, equestrian world knows that proud flesh is a medical term for um, a intermediate layer of flesh that's formed over a wound on a horse before the final scar tissue is formed. And it's, um, it's extremely ugly, and it's actually not necessarily conducive to healing. Somehow it just seemed like the right title for this body of work. Since it's not that Larry's so proud, it's just that he's so fearless. And um, sometimes that can translate into a sense of pride. And given that he's suffering from a weakening, wasting disease, there's something languid about his posture, but it, there's also something very strong about him. I have no idea what produced that, that phenomenon. If I, could, if I could duplicate it, I would. But you see something like that and you go, oh, what luck. I mean, if you're Ansel Adams, you don't say that, but you know, some people wouldn't think that was such good luck, but I sure did. It's a, it's a gift. It's a it's just a moment of serendipity that I pray for.